This video today was inspired by Carter Stucker. Uh, check him out at gascanguitars.com and mosthigh.org for his ministry page. This is how we make a subdomain on the HostMonster web host. So pick your favorite browser and go to hostmonster.com. Once you get there, you will see a button to log into the control panel. Click that. This will take you to the place where you type in your username and password in order to log in. Here we will see all of the options, hopefully, that we can use to set up things on our website. If you don't see this and you see some kind of message about renewing your domain or uh, changing your billing information or whatever, Host Monsters important messages show up here too. You can go ahead and set that up or you can just click the cPanel tab up at the top and it'll take you directly to the control panel. Scroll down on your screen until you find the area that says domains. Click on the link that says subdomains. This will take you to a screen where you can create a subdomain. Here you will type in the name of the subdomain and click the create button. And now you will have a default area of your web page named whatever your domain is, a dot, and then your root domain name. You can use this immediately, but it will not have any information on it because you have to set up those pages. You should see the default parking page for HostMonster that says this website's not configured yet. Now you can use your FTP client and point it to this particular subdomain to set up your new website. If you want to set up another subdomain, you can go back. You can use the subdomain feature to host other people's domains for people that want to have you do things for them and not set them up themselves and create all kinds of subdomains on your site. That is how you log into HostMonster and create a subdomain. Thanks for watching.